Hello everyone. So today I have in front of me is the uh, new ASA Air Mini from ZWO. And uh, for those existing ASA Air users, this needs no introduction. But for those who are not familiar with ASA Air, uh, it is a uh, smart astrophotography controller. The Mini is like almost half the size of the Plus. It is uh, it is a lot lighter than 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 the Plus. Comparing the top here, you will notice that the Mini does not have a switch, just because of space constraints and just to drive the cost down. Moving here to the side, you will see that the the Plus has all it's uh, uh, power ports on one side the mini only have two of them and the other two are on the other side both have the DSLR, DSLR port for triggering your DSLR there is no uh, slot here for an extra SD card so moving here you can see that the mini does not have the Ethernet port so it means that uh, you cannot plug in a Wi-Fi extender, but you can you can always use uh, the uh, antenna or uh, use your station mode so you can connect the Mini to your home network. One thing you will notice is that the Mini does not have USB 3, which I'll this I'll get back to that later. But the Mini is not based on uh, Raspberry Pi, unlike the Plus. The Plus is, is using a 1.5 GHz processor. Uh, the Mini is also using a 1.5 GHz processor, 2 GB of DDR4 RAM compared to 4 GB uh, on the Plus. And both of them uh, have uh, 32 GB of eMMC storage, uh, which uh, both feature a firmware, firmware reset function. So for all my uh, astrophotography needs, I never missed the uh, USB 3 very much. I have used uh, the ASA Air v version 1 here for 4 years now since its release back in uh, 2018. Uh, and I have paired this with all sorts of compatible cameras from, from DSLRs and up to my uh, 2600 uh, MC which is an APS-C sensor uh, camera I experienced no issues at all my goals are simple enough uh, shoot deep space photos and and even this uh, this old version one can do all of that when when testing the mini I did not actually experience anything different compared to using the plus so from from polar alignment, plate solving, plan mode, or auto run sequence, I leave it unattended, and 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 have all the the data in the morning. For existing Plus users, there is no need to get this unless you want a second unit on a budget, and if you just want to do uh, astrophotography. For, a, for all its intents and purposes, like I mentioned. For those existing ASI Air version 1 users who haven't upgraded yet to the Pro or the Plus, uh, the Mini is a good is, is a good replacement. When I was using the, the, the version 1, I used to pair it with uh, this external power management box. So imagine this is all in this package, the small package, with 
almost the same performance as the Plus. So the Mini is also a good match for those using, for those who are using a smaller setup like one of these uh, Skywatcher AC GTI or something similar, who, who are concerned about weight. So the Mini would fit perfectly for this setup. That's it everyone. That's my uh, short uh, preview and impressions uh, for the Mini. And here is the uh, first light of this little device, Bubble and Friends. Clear skies.